How's it going, subscribers? Today, we're going to be talking about the company and the stock, Tesla. So when we look at Tesla, we can see in the short term, it's been slowly declining. We look at the one week, it's been on a downwards trend. We look at the one month, we can also see that Tesla has been sort of in a downwards trend, same as the three months. Tesla has been has fallen 20%. So things are not looking good. That's more than $100 million. Subscribe to my channel so I can teach you how to make millions. Let me tell you about my day so far. Coffee in Paris, surfed the Maldives, took a little nap on Mount Kilimanjaro. Oh yeah, and I got digits from this Polish chicken Rio. NBA Finals. And all that was before lunch. I have more than 100 million dollars. Subscribe to my channel so I can teach you how to make millions. Good for Tesla. We see the one, the one year chart. The one year chart actually tells a different story. Even though Tesla has been going down 10% the past year, actually close to 11%, we see a pattern. We see a pattern. It actually has uh, its lows and highs established quite clearly when we look at the slows the slows are generally around the 250 dollar range and when we look at its highs the highs that are in the 300 and um uh, close to 375 375 dollar 375 dollar range so essentially with tesla you want to buy at these lows at these low points so right now we're at a low point right now and then you want to sell it at the at the high points right here, here, or here, or even um, right here at 370. So just me, I just set a limit sell at 370, and I bought them around the price that it is right now. So that's the strategy that I'm going with Tesla. We look at the five-year chart. Um, Tesla might have another great boost like the one it did in uh, around November 25th, 2016. So, hey, maybe very good news will come out of Tesla where um, it'll spike up even further to the $400 range or something like that. So, so now when we look at uh, when we look at Tesla, we see that the volume is at five million, which is looking good, but it's actually less than the average volume, which is at nine million, and. When you look at the market cap, the market cap is this company has a lot of money at 46.21 billion. And when you look at the uh, Tesla's highs and its lows, you can see that the highs are around the $387 range and the lows are the $247 range. So there's quite a bit, big difference. So remember the golden rule buy low, sell high. That's the key. All right, guys. So Tesla, Tesla, when it comes to the news of Tesla, Tesla doesn't have any major news in the uh, short term. And then, uh, Elon Musk gets in trouble with the typical stuff with Elon Musk messing with the SEC. We got 31 analyst ratings over here. 39% are saying that Tesla is a buy. 26% are saying it's a hold and 35% are saying it's a sell. So when we comes to the Morningstar reviews, what they have to say about it is that Tesla, its unique supercharger network makes Tesla the only automaker directly trying to alleviate the range anxiety of buying an EV. Tesla has the potential to change the world with long range EV technology, AV technology, and battery technology that can store solar energy that its products generate. The cost advantage of recharging over gasoline is significant, and gas will probably never be able to catch up. Furthermore, the consistent torque of EVs makes them fun to drive as the vehicle is always at full power. This is interesting stuff about Tesla. Now when it comes to the haters, the haters from Morningstar, what they have to say is that mass EV adoption by consumers could be many years away than Tesla expects. If demand does not materialize, the company's likely 
The company is likely to struggle to recoup the costs of the Gigafactory. Audi, BMW, Mercedes, and others are no longer ignoring BEVs. Investing in Tesla carriers tremendous uncertainty. The market has very high expectations for the stock, so a slowdown in the growth, execution problems, or lack of capital could lead to a severe decline in the stock price. The acquisition of Solar City and Elon Musk. Recent erratic behavior adds uncertainty. The stock has massive key main risk. So essentially, if there's a stock market crash, Tesla could be one of the companies that goes out of business. Now, when we look at the Morningstar rating, we can see they are actually giving it a three out of five. The economic mode has none. The fair value, they expect Tesla to be worth around $240. I disagree. The, their uncertainty very high the stewardship standard now when you look at the uh, earnings per share we actually see tesla has uh, may has turned a profit so this is good news for tesla and tesla is a low volatile stock so this is also good news and there you guys have it so let me know what you guys think. Remember to always buy low, buy in the 250, 50, 260, 265 dollar range, you know, around there, and sell at the 370 dollar range. So that's pretty much all you got to do with Tesla, and just keep doing that, rinse and repeat, keep on doing that. If Tesla keeps going sideways, or if it makes another huge growth like this, you win. So. Uh, just keep buying low and selling high all right guys that's all you got to do with tesla so thank you guys for watching smash that subscribe button hit that like button and i'll see you guys in my next video Be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful by billionaire Warren Buffett. And essentially what this means is when everybody when when traders are greedy they'll keep on buying and buying and buying and driving the price up and thinking that it's going to keep on going up and up and up but eventually what ends up happening is it, the stock ends up tumbling back down to earth from the moon because of greed and then a, and people that's how people lose a lot of money and when Warren Buffett says be greedy when others are fearful, what he means is that when others are fearful because the stock plummets and everyone starts selling their stocks at a discount, that's the time you want to start buying companies. That's the right time to buy. But usually people start selling. People call it a crash that word crash scares people really let's change 
let's change the definition. Instead of crash, let's call it, let's call it a discount. That's essentially what it is. A discount. That's really what it's also all about. So as we can see the fear and greed index by CNN. What emotion is driving the market right now? What emotion? Right now, the greed is driving the market right now. And the reason for that is, as we can see, the McKellen volume summarization index measures advancing and declining volume on the New York Stock Exchange. During the last month, approximately 8.23% more of each day's volume has traded in advancing issues than in declining issues, pushing this indicator forward the upper end of its range for the last two years. And as we can see, the stock price strength, that was the breath, with the stock market stock price strength, the number of stocks hitting 52 week, high, 52 week highs exceeds the number of hitting lows and is at the upper end of its range, indicating extreme grade. As we can see, that's why the market kept going back up and up. As we can see, it's in the greed territory. As we can look at the safe haven demand, the difference in 20-day stock and bond returns. Stock have outperformed bonds by 2.92 percentage points during the last 20 trading days. This is close to the strongest performance of stocks relative to bonds in the past two years and indicates investors and rotating with stocks from the relative safety of bonds. And when we look at the put and call options, the CBOE five day average, the put call ratio during the last five trading days, volume and put at options has flagged volume, lagged volume, and call options by 36.82% as investors make bullish bets in their portfolios. However, this is among the lowest levels of put buying seen during the last two years, indicating greed on the part of investors. And when we look at the market volatility, the VIX and its 50 day moving average, the CBOE volatility index is at 15.72. This is neutral reading and indicates the market risks appears low. And when we look at the junk bond market, yield spread between junk bonds versus investment grades. Investors in low quality junk bonds are accepting 1.74 percentage points. An additional yield over safer investment grade corporate bonds. This spread is much higher than what has been typical during the last two years and indicates that investors are highly risk averse. When we look at the market momentum, the S&P 500 and its 125 day moving average, the S&P 500 is 1.04% below is 125 day moving average. During the last two years, the S&P 500 has typically, has typically been above this average. So 
rapidly declines like this indicate extreme levels of fear. So as we can see, the, the greed index right here, the greed over time, we are hitting the peaks. We are hitting towards, towards the peaks, the peak greed moments. However, that being said, we still have more greed to go. So if you're if you're heavily invested, this might be the time to get prepared to get prepared to prepare for a downfall. As we can see, that way when you have cash at hand during times of extreme greed or I mean extreme fear, you can buy stocks and from your companies at discounts. When we look at Victor Vest, Victor Vest Stock Advisory says that in the short term the market is mildly bullish. Victor Vest advocates buying safe, safe, undervalued stocks that are rising in price at this time. Second goal is to turn my 100 million into 100 billion. Like this video, leave a comment on the company or stock that you want me to analyze. I, over, I go over graphs, charts, news, quotes, forecasting, prices, rating, and reviews. My job is to help you pick the best companies and stocks to invest in so you can become a multi-millionaire that's multi-millionaire like me subscribe so you can become a millionaire and share this video to help your friend become a millionaire too don't miss out stay on top of your game and ahead of the curve the world is your oyster make Hey, while the sun is shining, everyone is subscribing to my channel, so subscribe, so subscribe, so you can stay ahead of the curve, so you you can come to my show, so you can flow, comment down below, so we both can grow, like and share this video, so everyone can know how to make millions of dough. Subscribe so we both can thrive. Join the millionaire tribe. Watch this video until the end to win the grand prize. It's show. Turn my 100 million into 100 billion. Like this video. Leave a comment on the company or stock that you want me to analyze. I, over, I go over graphs charts news quotes forecasting prices rating and reviews my job is to help you pick the best companies and stocks to invest in so you can become a multi-millionaire that's multi-millionaire like me subscribe so you can become a millionaire and share this video to help your friend become a millionaire too. Don't miss out. Stay on top of your game and ahead of the curve. The world is your oyster. Make hay while the sun is shining. Everyone is subscribing to my channel. So subscribe, so subscribe. So you can stay ahead of the curve. So you, you can come to my show. So you can flow. Comment down below so we both can grow like and share this video so everyone can know how to make millions of dough subscribe so we both can thrive join the millionaire my link below for a chance to win one thousand dollars on my webull account and if you want a chance to win twenty five dollars Make sure you download the app using my link in the description below. Subscribe to my channel so I can go over more, more news, more companies, and more stocks. I'll cover their earnings per share, the charts, the trends, the ratings, the news, the Sortino ratio, and Sharp ratio. 
market correlation, PE ratio, cash flow, balance, statements, net assets, and liabilities, and many, many more. Just for watching this video, I'm going to give you the chance of winning the grand prize. For your chance to win, subscribe to this channel and comment down below, future millionaire. That's what you want to write in the comments below, write future millionaire. For every social media website you share this video, it will increase your chance of winning the grand prize. Share this video on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, to all your social media accounts to increase your chance of winning the grand prize. Congratulations. Don't forget to